Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to another Manchester United FM 2014 video. Today I'm playing against a team that simply cannot get enough of me. They always want to seem to play against me, Chelsea. Look at all these games. We played against them in the semi final, in the League Cup final, and now we're playing in the semi final of the Champions League. First game at home. Uh, to me, I'll be favourites. Look, if you look at the previous games again, semi final bet them 2 1 in extra time in the league. Away, they couldn't beat us in the home ground in a neutral venue. 2-1, uh, uh, we win the League Cup final. And earlier in the season, we played, and it was a penalty shootout. That was in the Community Shield. So that was good, and I believe that's all the times yeah, all the times we played against them. And we're still going to play them yet again in the league after we, we most likely will beat them. Well, I hope I do. I said that now. And we should be winning the league, because if you take that... Yeah, I'll show you these results here as well. Arsenal 3-0 was a dominant performance, but then two games against Man City, both draws at home, no goals, but away we scored goals. So that's a positive sign, actually, that we can score goals away, uh, even with having a red card as well. That was a very fantastic match. We came back and we uh, got a nice draw, scoring three away to Man City, so it doesn't matter if we had a red card or not. We do it all well, but yeah, this is really important. I really want to beat Chelsea, especially as I've been the better team. Like, the last game was pretty hard against Real Madrid. I would find this a bit easier. But anyway, let's see if Chelsea have any, injury, yeah, any injuries of sorts. Um, we'll see how it goes. They've got Ashley Cole suspended, uh, which is good, I guess, for left back. They don't really have another dominant left back. They've got uh, Ricardo Rodriguez, who's decent. but And you look, the yellow cards as well. Uh, Jean Martin needs to be rested, but you look... Uh, Gary Cahill is a bit injured as well, but you look, the yellow cards. Uh, John Terry and Ivanovic. If one of them pick up a yellow card, they'll be missing the next leg as well. So that's a good sign. I want to get straight into it. And hopefully, we can pick up a good win. We'll just see how it pans out. We'll see. Look, I've got... Oh, me too. Um, it's the same. I can't... Yeah, I could, it's the same reason for us. Like I said about Chelsea, we've got Vidic and Silva out from suspension. Also, Danny Rose from an injury and Valencia from an injury. A lot of key players there are going to be out... So I'm getting Rooney back into the first team. You know I'm going to sell him, but that's why his value has gone. It's skyrocketed down. It used to be like 20 million, but he's got bad injuries. I'm trying to get him back into it, playing him some games, because ideally I do want to sell him uh, because he's just been declining because of his injuries that he's gotten. But you know he's still a decent, yeah, like a decent quality player. And I don't want him in the reserve team uh, playing games. I want him playing for me. So uh, there we go, the first, yeah, starting eleven. This is a team, it's a pretty strong team if you ask me, Rooney and Hernandez up front. Uh, then, I, oh yeah, I've also changed this, I'm sure you realise. I'm just going with a flat midfield four now, you've seen I've changed it up a little bit. I just I, I feel I'm going to eventually start signing some central midfielders and attacking midfielders. You know those attacking midfielders that can play centre mid but not defensive mid? I might start signing those kind of players and then they can't play it with two defensive midfielders. So I want to start to do it like this and just put... Uh, two box-to-box -box midfielders because I feel that will be a similar role and they'll go box-to-box -box and put two of them in and we'll just see how that goes. Uh, that would be a really similar role than just playing two defensive midfielders, just slightly a bit more attacking and I want to step out the amount of goals I've got because you know I've been pretty good defensively. Only 18 goals conceded, that's good. And we still conceded the most, or scored, sorry. Yeah, we still scored the most in the league. So we're doing well in both facets of the game and I'm just going to test this and hopefully it does well. If not... It's, I guess, a mistake. Uh, but I don't think it will do too much different because I've done this formation in the previous game uh, against Man City. We scored three goals. But there was a red card, so it's, it's hard to judge. I didn't play it for the whole game. But anyway, uh, you see Lewandowski has been the dominant player in the league so far. And this guy has got a lot of goals uh, from a lower-level team, and uh, he's not amazing. Normally, I like to check those out to see if they're good or not, but he's just, like, average. Uh, how about this guy from Barthe Borisov? Uh, 31, uh, too old for my liking in the team. Now go to the opposition instructions. Mata, uh, you know he needs to be rested, so I'm going to hard tackle him. Hopefully get him injured, especially for the next game. Nkulu as well, hard tackle him. But Hazard, Mata, and Oscar as well, all going to show onto the weaker foot and close down. And hopefully they'll do the job. And Lukaku show him onto his weaker foot as well. Uh, tight mark. This is just going to be... It's going to be really hard, no doubt. Who's this guy? Isaac Shaw. See, they're forced to play this crap guy on the... Um, yeah, he's forced to play him, and... Yeah, they're forced to play him in the game. Well, or forced to at least put him on the bench. 
Uh, so yeah, that's what I mean, the difference of the quality. They have forced to play these younger players like Masonda, um, however you say that. What, how do you say it? Sewank Ambu? I've no idea who he is. <laughs> but anyway, we'll move on. Passionately, so we'll do this for the fans. So passionate on the last option. Here we go. I've had really, I wouldn't say good luck. Yeah, I don't think it's luck at all. I think it's just good playing. We've been playing really well, rarely ever losing games. I think we're unbeaten for a really long time. I, I'll show that after the match. We'll check it out. Um, how our, yeah, the stats of this season are going, um, our results and all of that. But anyway, uh, we'll see. Uh, again, home fixture. In these home legs in the Champions League, I always like to win, of course, like get a goal. Because if you don't win, it'll be crucial. And more so the away legs. I like to get away goals. This one, you just want to win. Oh, Rooney's free. Oh, he probably should have scored that. He was clear, as you saw. Heaps and heaps of space. So can we take advantage of another corner? Now, when you already have like a shot on target, usually you don't score from a corner because the shot on target was the highlight. And Fellaini just falls down there. It was a, a trip by Lampard, so that's a foul. But you see no highlight from there. A yellow card. Picked up for one Chelsea player. I don't think it was one of the guys who'd have missed suspension or would have said uh, down there they would have missed. So Azar, oh, good tackle, Peruzzi. Very good sliding tackle. Really amazing player. Pogba giving... Oh, I don't know about Pogba, but... Oh, no, not Lukaku. Oh, good sliding tackle, but yeah. Um, like I said, Pogba, he's been... Lately, he's not been playing well. Uh, last... At least the second half of the season, or at least last couple months, he's been a bit up and down. Hasn't been scoring. Has been making some errors, like you saw there, almost leading to a goal, so uh, he has to get that out of his game, even though he's really good rated in the game. Have you had that before? You've had a guy who's really well rated, but he makes crucial errors. I'm not sure if anyone else, but I'm just noticing that, you see, uh, from Pogba. And we were forced to play Belant at left back as well. Come on, Pogba, do something. He's got great attributes, as you know, but uh, my team's giving away the ball in really crucial situations. He, oh, but they do as well. Wayne puts it home in the 31st minutes. Wayne Rooney, I really want him to dominate. He doesn't know it, but I want to sell him. <laughs> uh, because, yeah, he's getting older, and it showed this season. He was injury. He had injuries at times, and that will still be a problem next season, I know. But he's just coming good at the right time when we need him now. So hopefully he can uh, take us to winning the Champions League. Because I remember last year from winning the Champions League, I remember my whole team got a boost in their value. So hopefully Wayne can get that, and then we can sell him for the maximum amount. Come on, Nanny. Maybe him too. Oh, Ideally, I probably want to sell Nani or Valencia because I do want to get a world-class right winger that's a bit younger. Like someone, yeah, I'll talk about it later when I actually want to do that. But yeah, someone like 24 or like around that mid-age, mid-20s. Uh, so they have a lot of years left. And Nani and Valencia are like 28 and 29. So they're going to start getting to, like Rooney, declining. Hernandez. Oh, I was expecting him to score that. Like I've said, a lot of the times when you're one-on-one -on -one with Hernandez, uh, he finishes a lot of the time. So maybe the pressure got to him in this stage. But I'll say assertively, um, I'm happy with the performance and for them to keep it up. And look at that. Everyone looking happy. All good. All good. All good stuff happening right now. I'll be happy to hold on to a 1-0. Uh, the more so, I don't want... Char yeah, this is what I want from home matches. I don't want to concede away goals. Uh, Peruzzi just... Uh, Takes up a foul there, professional foul, didn't even give away a card, so really smart by Gino on that occasion. Uh, he did well, probably need to look to make a sub here. Yeah, I don't want to wait till the highlight, because a highlight might be them scoring. So yeah, that's what I was meant to say before. Like Home matches, the most crucial thing is not to concede a away goal, that's the biggest thing. And when we're playing away, to score a away goal. So Rooney, uh, keep him fresh for the next game, and we'll bring on Pedro... Yeah, put, yeah, I might as well put Pedro Fernandez for some experience. And Hernandez is not even playing well, so I'll make a double striking sub at the minute. Anyone? Uh, yeah, I'll make it. I'll be safe. I'll be safe. We could get a red card injury or something. So faith in Fernandez. And there we go. Keeping Rooney fresh and Hernandez is not playing great. And F Pedro Fernandez is doing well for a 15-year-old. Just 15. Uh, just giving him some European experience and Champions League at this level. Uh, it's going to be invaluable to him and to us in the future. He's only 15. That's crazy. Oh, no. No. Oh, good save, De Gea. Crucial save. We had to keep a clean sheet in this game here. Fantastic. De Gea's insane for me. So here, making some subs. Even said Rooney has taken some knock. So it was a good idea to take him off. Uh, Puyol picking up a yellow. Okay, here we go. I'll, what, after this highlight, I'll make a sub. Hopefully, we can score again. It will really put us in the box seats. Uh, to get into the final, hopefully. 
Oh, Peruzzi, good tackle. See, he's not afraid, even if he's on a yellow. He can do it well. Go Al Sharari. Hasn't really made an impact in today's game. Put a ball in. Well back! Oh, off the crossbar. So close. It just shows our intent. Even when we're ahead, we don't go defensive. Don't park the bus. Just go. Keep going attacking. Uh, who should we make a change here to? Uh, Nanny, definitely. He's... And I think, yeah, I can just bring in Zaha. I'm not sure what to do here. I don't want Perusi to get a red. Uh, we'll bring Phil Jones for a bit more of a defensive player. And he's only on 70 condition as well. And I'll say pressure is off for him to just come on and defend well for us. You know, Jones is probably a bit more of a defensive-minded player uh, than Perusi. Uh, very good defensive stats. Yeah, stat or attributes. Stats is... That's why I get... Like, when people say stats all the time, that's it's not... It's attributes. Yeah, stats is like... Uh, your average ratings and how much goals and assists you've got. That's what stats is. But everyone, even myself, like say you just it feels normal to say that, like their stats, but it's their attributes. But anyway, moving on, if we can hold on this one nil will be positive. Just make sure we don't concede away goal. Because if they get away uh, a wait a wait. I was gonna say away goal and late at the same time. But anyway, if they get a late away goal, they'll be at the advantage, one one away. Um, yeah, the away team will always be at advantage going home. But as I've said, I've been positive results against Chelsea. Uh, they haven't bet me this season, uh, which is always good signs for us. And it just shows again, winning 1-0. Uh, shows we've been the best team, at least in the league this season. And again, we pick up a nice result, 1-0. They didn't score a away goal. Again, really puts me in the box seat to take uh, take full advantage in the next set. So well done. Definitely well done. Uh, my players look delighted with that team talk, which is always good to do. And we did dominate. Look at that. Against Chelsea, 28 shots, 13 on target to three. Definitely probably even deserved more goals. Three clear-cut chances. Yeah, look, 90% of tackle ones. That's really high. It just shows the determination on my players to win the ball back. And everyone's playing well right now, and it's all good. And there's one thing I'll do. See, it's good Rooney scoring, but there's one thing I'm going to... This is what I'm doing in my other save, actually. It's something I'm going to change. I've done at times here. I'm going to do it on fitness and on high. I like doing that. It just keeps the fitness levels up and you work at high. It should help you run out games better. Look, it focus the player's strength, fitness, and conditioning. So that should yeah keep players fit for a lot of games and maybe prevent injuries in your team. So uh, let's go to yeah, a 1-0 victory. That's all good. Smalling, he's been an insane play. He's scored an amazing amount of goals this season uh, from our set-piece tactics, which is always uh, good to get a bit of extra goals from that in the league. Uh, we're looking strong, but still, the league is going to be close. Only four points difference. I might still do that match against Chelsea, but you might get sick of seeing games against Chelsea. And that's the match after the Premier League. Like, would you want to see that or not? Um, there's two games, FA Cup Final. I think I might do those two together, and then the last game will be Champions League. All these important games. You've got Aston Villa at home and then Hull away. You expect those will be wins considering my other performances. And look at this. No losses since, like, against this away early game against Derby, which I... Played a few younger players in to get experience, which I probably shouldn't have done. But still, we actually did well in that game when we lost. You see here, it's the games you get. They had six shots, six on target. Probably deserved the goal, and we probably deserved the goal as well, but we couldn't get it. And yeah, that's the way it went. So if you want to see the next leg very, very soon, obviously Southampton, I'll just play that game. But then the second leg against Chelsea away it should be good we should be able to continue with our good form this season you see we've been unbeaten for such a long time just a mix of my tactic and a really solid squad so if you enjoyed this episode drop in the comments what you thought of it uh, drop a like if you want to see some more and you did enjoy it and i'll see you guys next time